Yours truly, Princess Tia from Kingston, Jamaica, in the Caribbean, and you're watching Third Eye Vision Show with Anthony Parker. That's right, we're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. <clears throat> Accepting my disability from seeing blind. That's my girl Cindy, y'all need to support that. I'm going to put the link in the description. I wanted to post this video because it was well put together and I enjoyed how she used her personal testimony as reference points in the video great job Cindy look hit the notification bell after subscribing to the channel so that you can learn more about this channel third eye visions and others that I post here please like or dislike the videos whichever so that I can get some sort of uh, account on how you all feel about the videos share it because this is an informative and educational channel as well as entertaining and others may find it to be the same as well and lastly please 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 comment let me know what you think about the videos what I should have done should I have not done if I should have wore some better clothing if I talk too fast if I'm ugly whatever the case may be uh, I do respond very quickly I keep my phone with me anyway accepting my disability from seeing blind my girl Cindy let's check out the video hey welcome to my channel seeing blind my name is Cindy this week I wanted to talk about accepting your disability Ooh, it's a hard one and it might be lengthy so stick with me to the end first I want to start by saying I'm not a health professional I'm not an expert in this field I am just someone else with a disability who gets it and I've been there and I've done it this week on Facebook in one of my support groups I noticed a lady was reaching out she was overwhelmed with a new diagnosis I think she was like me she was in that gray area of not complete blindness but she had lost enough vision that it affected her everyday life she was overwhelmed with how her entire life and worldview was changing and she just wasn't coping well and was so confused and just loss of identity. She didn't know how to function anymore. So if you can relate to this, I hope you benefit from this video or share it with a friend or someone else who may be going through this. First, I want to say as cheesy as this sounds, I know it's silly, but I think it's difficult to remember this when you're in the moment and it's you are not alone. You're not alone. There's a huge community of us out there and we all wanna help each other. Believing that you're not alone is really difficult in these moments because we feel so isolated, right? You are lost, you don't know how to connect or relate to friends or family anymore. They don't, you feel like you're misunderstood or no one gets it, no one knows what it's like. Just all these negative, isolating feelings. And so it's very easy to forget that you are not alone. There are others like us and like you out there. But it will take you putting forth some effort, reaching out online and on social media to find those groups that connect with you and resonate with you. And it's, and it's important that you still do your best to reach out to your family and your friends and your community to stay in touch and to let them in on this journey and process with you. I think it's important to know that each of us have our own journey and path through accepting our disability. It means something a little different to each individual person. And we each have our own time frame. So don't think that it's something that's gonna happen overnight 
and don't think that it's something that's going to only happen once. It affects us sometimes multiple times throughout our life as we hit different phases. So I hope you reach out to whether it's an online community or your local resource center or your church or family or friends. Just know you don't have to be alone through accepting your disability. Connect to someone because if you try to carry this entire burden on your own, I truly feel like it will weigh you down so much that it'll be so hard to dig yourself up out of that hole, right? One thing that resonated with me during my process of accepting my disability was a quote, and it was, I think, from Buddha. And it says basically, paraphrasing, if you choose or continue to focus on the hurt, you will continue to suffer. But if you choose to focus on the lesson, you will continue to grow. This hit home for me. I was like, what am I focusing on? And I'm, I was bogged down and weighed down by all the negative things, everything I couldn't do anymore, all the things that I see everyone else in life doing that I'll never be able to do. To me, you have to choose. Are you going to let this disability defeat you? You have to choose. Are you going to wake up each day with the best state of mind and mindset to grow and to do what you need to do to get to the place in life you want to be in and to live the life you want to live with this disability. Accepting it is just seeing your life with it and how you're going to live with it. Know and recognize that it's okay to get bogged down at times and weighed down. We all go through that. But there's, I think I saw like and read some um, resources on the five minute rule like let yourself feel those feelings, but for five minutes, because you've got to give yourself enough energy throughout the day to still do your best to focus on the positive things that you're still able to do and, and give yourself enough energy to still work through and problem solve the things that you still need to work on. And whether it's finding a different way of doing something or finding an adaptive device or it doesn't matter but as you take one task at a time and one day at a time focus on your attitude and realize that it, it starts there also guys not just with accepting and realizing that you're not alone but it starts with your attitude how are you going to wake up each morning and view your day is it going to be another hole that you dig yourself into and you can't get out of? Or are you really going to just take one breath at a time, take one task at a time, and know you got this? Don't let your disability defeat you. It's not defining who you are. You just need to learn what your life needs to look like with this disability. Realize that this disability doesn't make you any less. It doesn't make you any weaker than anyone else. It just means you will need to do things a little differently. Your life is going to look a little different than it used to or than other people. It doesn't matter if you were born with your disability or this was something introduced to you overnight. It doesn't matter. We all go through this. We all face this at some point or another. All right, so this next and last point and tip I have is addressing the social, I guess, aspect of accepting your disability. And for me, this was the most difficult part because I had a really rough childhood with my disability. And so this was a component of that. And it was accepting that I am going to look different when I am outside the home, in my community, in the society, in a social atmosphere, I will be treated differently sometimes and I might be looked at differently or oddly or people may outright avoid me even because they're not sure how to act around me. I've, I've seen it all guys. And this was really difficult for me to accept and to realize that it is their hangups. It is all the other people who don't know me and who don't know how to act around me and 
in society or in a social interaction, if it's weird or awkward, it's their hang up. It is their issue and it's their lack of knowledge, not mine. It is not my issue. It is not on me. And it took a long time for me to get to the point where I let that go, where I didn't care what I looked like in society anymore. I didn't care how what people thought when they saw me anymore. I really struggled with this. I, for the longest time, avoided using my cane. And I will admit, even to this day, I still struggle in some situations whipping my cane out and using my cane when I'm not quite sure of my environment because of that social peer pressure and awkwardness and labeling. I, I really truly struggled with the label of disability and being disabled. But I've always found that when I just separate myself from them, that whoever I feel doesn't get me and can't understand what's going on or judges me or any kind of negative feeling like that, I immediately just have to separate it and say to myself that that is, that's them. This is me doing the best I can, doing what works for me so that I can do the things I need to do to be the person I want to be the way I need to do it. So hopefully guys, if you can get to that point in life where you no longer care how people see you, you no longer care what people think of you, know and celebrate your differences, right? Because it's that kind of cliche saying, it's our differences that make us beautiful. And disabilities do that too, guys. It's not anything to be ashamed about. It's not anything to be afraid of. Life will go on and you will figure it out. You will find that place where you belong in life again. You will find out what you're good at again. You will gain a little bit of your life back, little more, bit by bit, each day. To sum up guys, again, know you're not alone. There's so many of us out there that want to help and have been there and have done it and get it. Remember, we all go through this through multiple times in life sometimes, but go your own pace, take it day by day, take it breath by breath, and know that you got this. Your disability, it doesn't define you and it can't defeat you if you don't let it. So check your state of mind. Be in that great headspace so that you can grow and move forward and build those important relationships in your life. Know that it doesn't matter what society or other people think or how they see you. You do you, as we say now, guys. <laughs> and know that you will have to do things a little differently and that is okay. Do the things that you need to do to make life work and for you to be the happy person that you want to be and to gain that life back. You got this guys, you can do it. If you benefited from this video, I hope that you will hit that bell and hit that subscribe button so that you can tune in to my next video. Hopefully you can share this video with any family or friends that you think could also benefit from this. Thanks again for watching. Take care.